I do buckaroos, and how the heck are you? I am Tony Beer Whisperer as Dangerous Toys Scared is just finishing up here on Beer Whisperer Radio, also known as my spot. Hey, get a sticker there too, man. I got, I'm having more, my last visit. But I got about a month ago, uh, Springfield Ray Company Clovis, their version of a traditional heaven bites in there. The sticker. Anyways, uh, the bottle. 5.2%. Summertime in a bottle, clove, banana, like aromas from the yeast, balanced, or I'm sorry, a matched with subtle tartness from the malt and wheat. So there you go. It's a damn fine beer. It's even more beautiful on tap. Let me put it right there so you can see it nicely as I move myself over just a little bit. And a damn commercial is playing. Hey, I was just, I, I've been unboxing some glassware. It's one of another one I had to have for over a year. But this is a wheat glass, so I figured, what the hell, let's use the damn thing, shall we? Oh, it's a nice glass, so right? Look at that. That aroma is well. <laughs> they said it, man, banana and clove. I had another one, I'm not going to mention the name right now, but uh, I had bigger, had brighter banana notes, but the clove was so. I hear the, the clove and the banana are, 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 are uh, fairly well balanced. Tora, Tora, walk and choose now on my particular <laughs> I didn't put in Tora, Tora as a band. I don't know how it showed up, but there it is, nonetheless. <laughs> what the hell, man? I grew up in uh, at that time in Southern California. I remember seeing a lot of these bands when they were just club acts, man. When I spent a lot of time in the showcase club in Southern California back in the early to mid-80s. I left in 87. I went in 87, went back once in 88 to help my parents move, and I haven't been back since then. Anyway, cheers to beers. My walk in shoes. Hey, baby, I'm leaving. Oh, I'm, I'm not drinking. Oh, well, I had the first wrong, huh? <laughs> hey, baby, I'm leaving. You see there, I had it right. Anyway, uh, man, my last, my last little pitch, man. <laughs> Oh, shit, it's good. still working on my garage. I put another sticker out, but it was so humid that it came down. I put it in two places. It came down in both places. So. Oh, I'll try it again. It's just too freaking humid, man. Yeah, take it right down. That one came down. When I put one over here, it came down first. I wasn't able to get it on there quite as well. But I thought I had this one on really well, but it came down anyway, too. So, anyway, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do, man? <laughs> Put on my walking shoes. Oh, cheese biscuits and gravy, man. Greenfield Boy Cup, this shit's awesome. It's gonna be, it's a per again, uh, it's a perfect summer beer. That's what beers like this are for. Oh. I like the glass, though. It's a nice glass, though, right? Glass. It'll probably even throw the things besides the wheat beer, but it is wheat glass. Half a wise and half a bites and glass, as I'm aware of it. I'm going to put other stuff in. <laughs> it's a nice glass, man. I'll probably put Pilsner's in it. Hell, I might be putting my beer in it. I'm a rebel. <laughs> I'm a rebel, baby. Uh, I'm a rebel. Just say no to the dark side. The other day I made some coffee. My wife said, boy, that coffee's awful dark. I said, yeah, it's Empire coffee. Is it Empire coffee? I said, yeah, it's on the dark side. <laughs> it's not made of coffee. It's on the dark side. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> it's on the dark side. Is this thing on? <laughs> I digress. Oh, mercy. Hey, I've done beer, which I do a video showing you my last quote, bitch. Some of my regular, uh, <laughs> my, my jovial self. I've done beer with bigger values, but let me bring drink your purple beer with the wrong ass. Good guy.